Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. Last video, built up this little water farm thing. I'm probably going to redesign it at some point. we got plenty of water production going on right now. I also have my carbonate processor up here, just one for the moment. And it is going to be churning through all the waste rock that's being dumped up here. And hopefully start to thicken up the marsh naps here. Uh, USA is offering a decent trade route right now. We've got plenty of food admittedly at the moment. I'm going to see if I can do concrete maybe for metal? Let's see what even will nibble on this idea. Go ahead and dump that off over there. I've got plenty of food right now, which does kind of take a little bit of pressure off of me. A lot of unemployment in this dome right now, which is telling me I should probably get some more uh, material construction going here. Let's go ahead and do electronics factory. It's gonna be happy little electronics factory, machine parts factory, and I'm also gonna put in another TV. Actually, no, Hawking is too. I'll also put in a TV studio workshop because I do need. I have not. Ugh. English, Steve, speak it. I haven't completed all of the objectives. Um, da, 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 da. Nope, not that one. This one. Um, I'll spawn. Well, I'm not getting that one. That, wow. Missed quite a few on this one. But 40% workers in workshops is quite a bit of... Uh, quite a bit of research I'd love to get my hands on. Temperature's warming up a little bit. Gotta get my water going right now. Research at the moment. We got the ancient terraforming device being done up. This is going to kick up 20% on all the parameters, which is going to be really nice. Frictionless composites is going to increase our power production by 100%. That wind farm up on the plateau is going to be doing great for us. Vector pump is going to increase our moisture vaporator production. Artificial muscles will let the drones carry two at once. And then prefab refab. It'll let me start collapsing buildings down, namely this, and move it into another spot. Downside is I will lose all the polymers that I'm doing from this as well. These guys are running 24-7 or 25-7. How long is a Martian day? 25 days. They're running 25-7. I'm going to open up the hospital. All shifts on that. Martian diversity. Open up the morning shift on that. Night shift on that. We're going to uh, do Dreamer here. We've got a lot of people who are unspecialized at the moment, but as we get more people probably moving to the dome at this rate, because we have a lot of unemployment in the dome. They'll probably travel down here to work. Well, I hope they will at least. And I do know we had some, a lot of folks with chronic conditions down here, which we're running into problems. This is a very crowded dome. This clicks on one person. It's like, oh, there's a ton of stuff there. Okay, I'm, again, I'm clicking on one person here. Uh, I'm working around the dark hours. All right, yeah, let's turn off our, let's turn off our overnight production then. If we got people having uh, health problems from working overnight, let's make sure we're dealing with that. What I'm also going to do... It's almost full, right? Yeah, 286, 286. I will turn Amplify back on on all the factories because I've got... Uh, probably shouldn't do that. But let's also put a scrubber down here to take care of that. I'm going to turn these convectors back on. That way we still have a little bit going into the grid. Also, running a deficit on power, which is... Kind of shocking. Dust storm has started up, so actually our water production just went down the tubes. Didn't even get a notification of where that thing was. Oh, it got hit down right down here. It almost took out the core heat convector. All right, let's get some MDSs built because it does seem that they're kind of running in tandem with these disasters, which, I mean, eat a dick game for doing that to me. make sure we've got plenty of protection on all this stuff. This is going to eat through a lot of metals and electronics. Admittedly, I don't have a lot of metals going right now for me, but protecting this is kind of important, you know? Don't want people to die. It's a weird thing, you know? Wanting to protect people from dying. Definitely want to protect that. And over here, put one. Definitely put one up here by the space elevator. Don't want to lose that thing. Over here... I think just one over here would be fine. And then up here, I do think we're going to need a second one. Put it there for the moment. I think this is a relatively short dust storm. What are you waiting on over here? Let's go polymer for metal, actually.
Yeah, nobody's offering trades on that. All right, let's talk to the colonies directly. Trade. Concrete for machine parts. Not terrible. Europe. Polymers for research. Go to hell. Food for... Okay. Food for metal. I'll take that. We'll load up 50 food, and then we'll come back with uh, 30 metal-ish. Got some more leaks popping up. Uh, this is just kind of a symptom of the whole... Uh, What is this a symptom of? The lack of metal we have going on the colony right now. Sorry, it took me a minute to get there. Right. Okay, these guys are all closed up. You know, we don't even have enough metals down here to... We have the metal production right here, by the way. Um, we don't have enough to... Keep this all operational. What's going on down here? Got another Mars quake. I'm not worried about this down here right now until we get nano refinement up and running. Which I don't think I did research yet. I believe it's way down here. Yeah, there's nano refinement way here. All the way down here. Go there, cash. I'm actually gonna start doing some outsourcing too. Just to further increase my science production. And you guys will be turned off for now. Get these buildings up and running first. I want these ones to kind of have priority. We have one unemployed here. I will allow the TV studio workshop, but it's gonna be low priority. I want these other buildings to be filled up first. And hopefully, once I start getting global support and running that one several times over, I'll be able to get um, mega malls, which will take care of a lot of these demands. I do have an O2 leak right now, a bit of a problem, but thankfully it's accessible but hopefully by some place that has a metal production to it and let's actually see what metals consumption is we have a lot of machine parts factories wow 25 consumption 5.5 maintenance all right nobody's willing to trade on that how about electronics or metals A lot of leaks right now. I'm burning through power, but also we have a lot of excess power with the dust storm. I'm getting a lot. I'm burning through this research, so I got to take advantage of this as best I can. Nobody wanted to trade that. Wow, I'm giving electronics, and you guys don't even want to send me metals. A bunch of a holes that is. Space elevator. Let's go ahead and order up another load of seeds because I realized I'm out. And down here, I'm gonna turn that off. We're just gonna be doing seeds here going forward. We have a delivery on the space Yay. elevator. Seeds. Need that. Let's see, we need a dumping site over here. Put a single dumping site over this way. Mm, yeah, I'll, talk, I'll put it in right there. We'll clear this out. And we'll actually have a dumping site. Hopefully, we can get this stuff cleared out. And then, I guess, once the ancient terraform device is done, I can probably go right into grass. Because we'll have the 20% right away. We'll get the 10% water right away. And then Lake Vaporators. Well, that should be really helpful. We're going to go ahead and accept this offer. Just because our food production is... Actually consuming quite a bit of food. Even though we're producing, I think, a decent amount of food. I also have 816 colonists that I've got to be taking care of. So consider that as you will. A lot of my moisture vaporators are still offline. Because they need... Uh, Wow. Also, it's because of the leaks. I think we have problems going with this. Okay, turn Amplify off on all these factories. That's going to buy me some time. These guys are all off. That's cool. I'm still running a deficit because of the all, the... all the cable faults. We've got eight of them right now. And thankfully, with how much extra battery storage I have, we're only draining about ten at a time. And the atomic accumulators, two at a time from the power accumulators. Oh, and I have I have multiple fusion reactors offline. This one had an idiot. Did there was an idiot here? Come on, workplace specialization. I see a lot of hive mind, which is good. Yep, there it is. That's the problem. 
and this one is operating yeah both those guys being offline bit of a problem for me uh trade route 50 food for 47 concrete now let's offer i'm gonna do polymers for food down here just so we can use that as a trade as something we can trade albeit indirectly um my thinking with this is yeah there we go so 50 polymer gets me 148 food 149 fuck it let's round up 150 this rocket is coming back with Research 29 there we go boom achieved. liquid water ancient terraform all that stuff so we're bringing back 29 metals for 50 food so it's really 50 polymers for 150 food subtract 50 100 food and 29 metals for 50 polymers. That's how my brain's kind of rationalizing doing this. Concrete extractors are offline because of this, that, or the other. Now, I believe I can slap down an open farm somewhere. Have I researched? No, I have not researched the open farm. Okay, a derp has occurred. Shocker. Let's go ahead and kick that up. Let's get Domo's farming done. It's going to get done in about a day. And then I can use that to... I have to kick my seed production into high gear, which should be amazing. Or, conversely, get my um, food problem permanently solved. This will still be producing food once the open farm is built, but it's more to guarantee I'm never going to have to worry about food again. Uh, let's see. Soil quality down here. It's improving. Uh, let's see. Where are my... All right. My thing is to put a couple open farms down like here and here. And being almost like dead center in the map would be kind of kick-ass. I could also do up here. But considering that I want to have like in showcase like, hey, I'm farming here. You can see your food being made not far from here. That's where my brain's going with this part of it. So let's go ahead and get my drone hub down. Damn, I can't fit it right there in that little nook where I want to put it. Wait, this doesn't need power, does it? These guys need... No, they don't need power. What am I doing? Alright, um... I, mean, I kind of want to tuck them into a corner here, but... I also need this to be... I can just... I want to take this uh, pipe, go out, and then to both farms once it's researched. Um, that's a decent deal. Let's take that deal. Oh, Sandy Breakdown. Occupy one of your drone hubs. Um, we cannot afford to lose the hub or forget about the building. Save the colonist. Um, I can rebuild the hub, but at the same time, actually, you know what? No, loner, Martian-born enthusiast. Their sanity's gone. Their health is gone. Yeah, I'm. I'm okay not using uh, that one. I'm. That, that's a needs of the many situation. I, I can understand. Like, if you have an extra drone hub prefab, totally. Go ahead and use that. But I don't have that. So I need to make sure that that's being utilized. Uh, let's factor AI you and you. I don't have... I do have... Uh, oh, I do have Hawkness too. I have a bonus on that. Uh, let's pop up here real quick. So I do have this one is fully loaded. Yeah, we do have a collaboration loss that's increasing because I've got multiple... Uh, Hawking Institute's up and running. It's kind of a trade-off with this game. So you can just have a bunch of research facilities, but you're going to lose your efficacy with it over time. I do also need to get a mag. Uh, I need to get a mag shield up, or I need to maybe research get some red shirts complete. built. Red shirts are the rockets I use to, that I sacrifice. Or get some magnetic field generators. And the magnetic field generators do produce as well. They do produce... Um, English, Steve. Learn to speak it. Come on. Get there. Um, I'm going to do this real quick. So I kind of want to do... Add a little bit. One, two, three. One, two. Like that. Okay. Okay, it's going to come out with this. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah. So my brain's going with this. Watch this, kids. Yeah, okay. That actually worked really fortuitously for me because this is exactly how I wanted to do it. Boom. These are going to take a ton of materials to get going and also let's uh, get that going. 
do that there. And we're going to get a large Universal Depot down here. Get this up and running. And we're going to need to get a food storage. A dedicated food storage put down here. At least one. Actually, we'll do this and also a dedicated seed storage. Because one of these guys will just be cranking out seeds. One of these will just be cranking out um, food. This, 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 this is the solution right here. Um, hold up. Frictionless deposits. Yes, you're being researched. So I'm double checking a couple of things here. I'm going to need that soon because I want to do an incubator dome. Don't need that. Do need that soon, but that's expensive as hell. Extraction, design forestation. Do you want to get that? Do you want to get that uh, sooner rather than later? This one sucks. Um, don't need that one. Safe mode is very helpful, actually. Continue we're having problems with all that stuff. There's global support, advanced drone drive. Lake Vaporator is really far down. Nanites. Giant crops. There it is. Resilient vegetation. That's what I'm looking for. Damn, it's way down the list. I'm just going to keep going with what I've got right now because the frictionless composites is going to have a net benefit in the long run. And then once I get the... Um, Prefab refab done up. Man, I'm it's 525 in the morning when I'm recording this. And then this is a day of recording, by the way. Um, so this is actually one of the first times in a while I've actually done a recording that's gonna be put out the same day. So um, the breaks are usually me trying to think what the next line, what the next thing I want to say is gonna be, or um we're gonna do cover crops and cover crops. We're just doing cover crops here. We could do herbs. Actually, yeah, we're gonna do both. I'm going to cover crops in there. Whoa. I got really big on my screen when I clicked on it that time. Don't want to do potatoes. I just want to get herbs and cover crops. The cover crops big time because of the seeds. It's going to be a 5 to 1 return on seeds. And then once we get enough for wheat, which once we get that... Uh, there we go. That's me making money. Once you have that um, resilient vegetation... The terraforming process only is going to be 25 and 35 for wheat. So I don't have to go as far as I think as the game implies to get me to that point. I'm, I'm definitely doing some work ahead on this. Since the soil quality is decent in the range for both these guys, this is going to really help to increasing all that. Uh, so for all of these places, I'm going to do control add grass for all of them. We're going to start getting the grass growing on all of my forestation plants. And we're already at 26%. Again, ancient terraform device. Love you. Probably do need some other stuff going here, too. So let's do this. So now we're also getting... We're looking further by trades. So I'm doing 50 concrete and 50 polymers. I'm getting 72 food here. I'm getting 208 food here. So let's just round those together and say 280 food and 29. But I'm also sending 50 back. There's a way how this game works. At a certain point, you can figure it out and it's like, you know what? I'm just going to game the system. And game the system, I shall. If I need to get the materials I need to get, I can go ahead. I don't have to, you know, I can trade for them, but I don't need to beg, borrow, and steal, which is usually how I do it in this game. This guy's going good. Going good up here. I do think I can expand this out a little further. Because I do have the concrete for it. I have the machine parts for it. In fact, let's do that now. Let's go ahead and expand this out. I don't have prefab refab done. So this is going to be all new construction. Oh, that worked perfectly. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, ooh. And... I was thinking about this. Um, a game did pop up in my uh, recommend, not my recommend, if you my wish list for early access. I'm going to try to get a new game going here the next couple of days. It's going to be a weekend one. It's going to be a definitely a let's try. Um, I want to get your, I'm going to play the game for about an hour, kind of how I did with, um, 
I guess City Skylines 2, my initial video, my first impressions on it, was try the game for an hour, give you my thoughts, and just based on how that video, how that game's video goes, it'll determine whether or not I'm going to do it more on the channel. So there's going to be some video, uh, another video coming out this weekend for a new, possible new series, I don't know. Um, it is kind of play into my... Uh, work background, not my current job, but my previous career. But, um, it's kind of a big hit for those who know. With that one. Yeah, I'm gonna do the exact same placement on these guys, so I don't have to go, like, full beans. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna wait, let this all get built up. This is gonna take some time to get done. I do have seeds up here? Yeah, I do have seeds up here. And I do have a forestation plant here. Cool. So make sure I'm growing some grass up here. I don't think I need to put trees up there, but it's going to be kind of cool if I do. Let's add some extra drones over here. I do like the fact I've got my farms going. This is... It was not a goal I was expecting to hit in this video, so I'm kind of happy about that. Alright, let's go ahead and turn on two core heat convectors, because I'm running at 28% uh, surplus on water. I'm just going to reduce that to 8. And let's see. Yeah, we're almost full on these big tanks, so I think we're okay doing this. In fact, you know what? I'm going to open a third one. Slight deficit on water, but I have 8,100 water stored. I should, keyword, be okay to utilize what I've got here. And if I need to, I can turn them off. It'll, it'll uh, refill the tanks real fast. It won't be okay. Hmm. No, I would totally be fine. Vector pump. Also outsource again. With these being built, consider the following. I'm getting now more excess power, which is going to be dumped into my research. So there's a way this is all trying to this is all starting to tie together a little bit. Hopefully you're seeing where cold wave my approaching. brain's going, ha ha, go screw yourself, cold wave. I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn on my my heaters. You're going to be fine. In fact, let's go ahead and turn this one on because it is going to need maintenance because we had that meteor strike near it earlier. That one we're going to turn on, but I'm going to turn this one off. And I don't think this operates during cold waves, mind you. Uh, dust I have. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, dear. I think you see what the problem is over here. Let's go ahead and get a... I'm going to need to actually put down... Oh, mm hmm Hmm. During my uh, Minecraft villager impression there. I might need one over here. Uh, you know, ooh, holy shit. Um, do you see what I see? Not an opportunity. Yeah, we're going to put it right there. I'm straight out straight out like this. Again, I don't have... Hang on. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Where are you, son of a bitch? Get the hell over here. Spirit cables, spirit pipes. Shit, pipes are really expensive. Alright, um... I'm gonna put cables up here. No, I'm not gonna put it down. I'm gonna leave it as is. I think some of you may see where I'm going with this. Core heat convector, plus a shitload of available real estate where I'm not doing anything right now. Um, plus available materials. Turn you off. Go, fit, go build this large universal depot first. I started this off as a little mini water farm. No, this bit, this thing's gonna be a full fledged water farm over here. Uh, no food, no fuel. Let's request amount to be forty five over here. No rares either. I don't need that out in this area. Don't need exotics either. We're gonna need the rest of this though. Maybe not electronics. I might need electronics actually. All right. Let's get this going. This needs to get built up ASAP. Well, that's going. Also, it's outside the dust radius. Didn't actually plan that. Didn't actually see how far it was, but I'm going to go ahead and take that as a victory on my part. Woohoo! 
Okay, how far do you go? There we go. Point of this. I have all the space I can put out some more, if I want to, fuel refineries. Actually, ooh, wait, hang on. Can I? I need more homelessness issues right now. All right, standard apartments. I'm running into that late game problem right now. Uh, this dome is... We do have an employment over here, so let's go ahead and open this shift up. And we'll go ahead and open up this shift. Okay, yeah, we've got a lot of homelessness, but this, these, uh, these apartments will go ahead and take care of that. Uh, what are we missing in this dome? Playing, drinking, exercise, gambling. Okay, we're going to need a large garden over here to take care of that. Okay, trying to go ahead and send me that over there. Cool beans. Got some seeds being produced. That's helpful. Got some seeds being, again, this is going to start kind of the, the um, word. Snowball effect. What I'm looking for here. Okay, so this one can actually go here because I want it to be in the dust radius. Damn, can't fit that last one there. That's kind of di that's a disappointment. All right, we're just gonna go up to that point. I'm not gonna go any further than that. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That will actually counter this core heat convector pretty much on its own. Also, we have a 20% increase in the atmosphere, or the liquid content of the atmosphere, which means we're now doing 1.7 water per instead of 1.5. Okay, materials being delivered. We're at one soul four. China's still offering to send us food for polymers. This works. And up here, how we doing up here, guys? Oh, yeah, look at that. And say goodbye to all my polymers now. Bye-bye. Let's also get our, uh, oh, wait, these guys are up and running. A little bit bigger? Yeah. That's the correct size. This one has to be at the biggest size just to take care of that one. Research complete. Oh, yeah, and there you also, it's now 37.6. They're going to be putting out 43, so my power just shot up. Look up now I've got 3,000 excess power going on my research. Loving it. Sorry. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Right. Let's go ahead and get another MDS down here to protect this site. And I absolutely believe I'm going to need to have some extra batteries. Here we go. Let's go ahead and slap these guys all down. Now, if you get that power surge event, you can absolutely just reroute power to some of the batteries. In this, obviously, not a feasible idea in the early game, but totally feasible in the late game. And go there, there. They're not worried about another four. Actually, wait, do I want to go to the four station plant down here? I'm gonna. Why not? I'm gonna make this area look pretty. And as I'm doing this, if you're watching the video and you've been stationary the whole time, go ahead, stop, uh, hit, pa or hit pause in a moment, and do a stretch. Yeah, just try to take your shoulder blades. You know, Put your shoulders back, pinch, try to... Incoming. Show me. There is an MDS on site for that, I think. Oh, no, there's not. This farm may be destroyed, folks. Nope, okay, we're fine. I did lose a rover. Whoops. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. That's it. Put the one down there to protect it. All right, so with the stretch kind of having you just kind of like taking your shoulder blades... You know, to pinch him, like you almost try to like squeeze a grape or something. 
Almost like you're trying to keep a stick between your shoulder blades. Now you're doing that, kind of open up your chest a little bit. Deep breath in and out. Something I'm very cognizant of when I'm sitting for a long time, especially when I'm recording. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not, uh... Keep my, uh... Oh, there we go. All right. Show me. All right, turn that off for a moment. And note, we are only at minus 18 power. Or minus 18 water, excuse me. But this cold wave only going to last for two souls. Let's do this here. Figure out where these next row is going to be. And this is just to make sure. Moisture vapor, yeah, no power, it's fine. The materials are being brought over quickly. We can now expect toxic rains because the atmosphere is at 25%, but I do have a slight decrease in the atmosphere uh, from. In fact, I have no uh, mag fuel generators. It's actually not that one. Right here. I'm not worrying about it this episode. I'll probably worry about it in a future episode because I also need to get my lakes up and running. Vector pump, prefab refab, superior pipes and cables. Those are more important to me. Just with the seemingly unending disasters I, of this colony wants to have. I want to make sure that those are being addressed as well. They're probably slapped in a carbonate process over here, if I'm totally honest. Uh, personal space. Oh, shit. This one. I don't want this event. Don't give me this event. Please don't give me this event. So pretty much we can either get more comfort but lose a lot of living space in all of my buildings which is kind of a problem with a thousand colonists meaning i'm essentially gonna have a shitload of homelessness or all colonists lose comfort i usually go for this one i'm actually gonna go for i'm actually gonna go for the other one which i, I almost never do this is that's an aberration i never do that one Yeah, so all everybody lost comfort, and comfort's a big kicker in this one. Do I have a medical dome? In, do I have a medical facility in this dome? No, I don't. No shit. I just clicked on this one randomly, and I realized I don't have an infirmary over here. Um, I do have one over here. I do think I need to demo one of these buildings. I'm thinking, like, maybe demo one of the TV studio workshops. In fact, let's go ahead and demo that TV studio workshop. I'm going to put a hospital in that dome. Let's go ahead and open this up to all shifts. And then how many people are having workshops? I'm only at 14%. I need a lot of people in workshops to make this work. Uh, let's go ahead and put that there. We, we just need a proper hospital here. Because a lot of these people are probably having a lot of comfort issues. Case in point. Uh, special effect, minus 20. Ouch! Rejuvenation treatment in this dome would actually be very, very beneficial. I'm over the 30 minute mark here, so I gotta put a cut in here momentarily. Uh, fusion reactor, malfunction, getting us due to an idiot. I really think that if you have, like, this is 164 performance, but they're an idiot. I, 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 it's a little frustrating that. Let's go ahead and uh, prioritize this gas. Let's get this thing built up, please. Uh, oh, yeah, this guy's actually, uh... Okay, so two power instead of one power. Interesting. But again, we're getting the seed production up and running. That's kind of the big thing for us. Up here, we're going to get vector pumps done we relatively soon. Shortage. No, we don't. We have 1.2 thousand food. We just need more people. We just need another diner operating. In fact, this studio workshop's in the wrong spot. I'm realizing this now. Research complete. Because there we go. Okay, watch this. Vector pump is going to be five, 530. Wait. I don't know how much it's going to cost for all of them, but you're going to watch my polymers disappear. I mean, like, straight magic trick right now. In fact, let's go ahead and turn Amplify back on on these guys. Because the polymer factories, actually, we do need to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and take that offer. 
It's just the main problem with this dome is that there's not enough, uh, is that this dome is fully running. Everything is working. I just don't have enough jobs for people. And I do think that, let's see if I put down like, let's double diner. And like, double grocery would do a small grocery as the second one. And I don't think there's any shopping in here too. So let's actually do that too. Let's do like an electronic store, a toy store, an art store. I'm gonna do a small thing here. Um, I don't wanna do a small thing. I'll do a, I'll do a security post. Boop. Give me a happy little building. There's gonna be more things for folks to go do. Let's go ahead, open this up. All, all shifts, rejuvenation treatment as well. This is hopefully going to provide the medical checks for folks and make these folks kind of adjust the comfort as much as possible for it. I gotta put a cut in here. I'm at like 35, 36 minutes at this point. So hopefully you enjoy this extra, well, longer than usual video for a Thursday. I do have an unboxing video coming out tomorrow. I'm actually gonna record that a little bit later on today. And then hopefully that new Let's try coming out over the weekend. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.